everyone, this is Savi. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss five very cool, important effects on the Ntrack Studio app that you should know while editing your vocals. So let's get straight into the video. Let's start with the simplest one, the reverb. Reverb is an effect that helps persist a sound after the original sound has been produced, like an echo, except that here it would be composed of a series of echo. There are many factors that influence the sound of a reverb, like the dimensions of the room that you're in, say whether it's a large room or a small room, the material of the walls of the room, like if it's hard, soft or carpeted and so on. Based on this, Ntrack provides you with a bunch of presets here which help mimic the sound you'd produce if say you were in a nightclub, church, cave, metal tank and so on. Let's apply a couple of these presets to my audio track and see what that sounds like. Let's now take a look at Conville Verb. This effect provides you with a bunch of reverb presets that you can choose from. I'm going to select a small section of my audio and play it on loop so you can listen to what my audio sounds like before and after I apply the effect. Let's try one of my favorite presets, the large stage. You can control the dryness or wetness of a track by rotating these knobs like so. You can also adjust the length of a reverb by dragging your finger across the graph like so. Lastly, you can also change the amplitude of your track by dragging this mark. Let's talk about our next effect, the compressor. Let's assume this is the signal we produce through our audio. When you mix this with other instruments, sometimes it's difficult to hear the loudest parts and the softest parts of your track clearly. This effect sort of evens out the loudest and the quietest parts of your audio by compressing them and produces a more even sounding signal. The threshold value marks the point at which you want your compression to work. You can change this value by rotating this knob like so. If you feel the need to compress these loud parts even more, you can do so by changing the values of its ratio like so. You can also change the amplitude of this entire compressed track by changing its gain value to make it sound louder or softer. Let's apply this effect on our track and see what that sounds like. So Understanding all these different values as a beginner can be extremely challenging, so I'd suggest listen to your track and see what sounds right. Let's move on to chorus. In simple words, chorus is an effect that can make your single audio track sound like two similar tracks. There are a bunch of presets here too, which you can play around with and find out which one suits best for your track. For further settings, tap on the edit menu on the top left corner. The time interval between the two similar sounding tracks can be controlled by its delay value by rotating its knob like so. You can also control its frequency, depth, wet and dry levels. I'm gonna play around with these presets to see what they sound like on my audio. So Say so 
Now let's talk about distortion. Distortion helps produce a grainier, a much heavier sounding signal that instantly boosts your audio. It works brilliantly with musical instruments. Let's take an example. To boost your audio, I prefer the studio vocal effect here. Let's see what that sounds like. Again, to control the level of boost and the tone of your audio after distortion is added, tap on the edit menu on the top left corner. Last but not the least, pitch shift. As the name suggests, it helps control the pitch of your track. You can instantly change the pitch of your background music or your instrumental to a scale that's convenient for you. There's still a lot of technicality and a lot of learning to all the effects that I've mentioned above. As a beginner, I'd suggest you apply all these effects to your audio track by listening to them carefully and see what sounds right on your audio track. And to be honest, let's not forget how fun it is to play around with these effects. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Bye.